Okay, do you want to take a shot? Here's to exposing X's. Yay! Yay! The gays are back and they're better than ever. Okay, go, you freaking little brat. <laughs> he doesn't want to go, he just wants to yell. <laughs> are you done? Cool. Hello universe, my name is Kati and welcome to my adventure. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> That's homophobic, Lint. Okay. <laughs> the idea kind of started one night when we were sitting at dinner telling these stories about our childhood. We were just dying laughing and we were like, oh my god, this would be an amazing video story time. We could start off with the story of our, our first boyfriend ever. Well, that was my Jeffrey. my Jeffrey. He moved away, didn't he? Yeah. So did my first boyfriend. Cool. Okay, good awesome. story. <laughs> so, first grade or second grade, somewhere around that age. It was during the summer, because my birthday was during the summer, and it was just kind of like this whole thing where I invited everybody in my class, and it was so much fun. And so he showed up to my birthday, and he brought me a necklace, a stuffed animal, and then a card written by him. In this card, he pretty much told me he loved me, and he also included that him and his family were moving at the beginning of the school year and I would never see him again after his birthday party. So this dude straight up was like, happy birthday, by Love the way, you. fuck you, I'm you're out. never gonna see me again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If Jeffrey's watching right now, what do you have to say to him? I love you. I think you're in love with somebody, even if it's puppy love and they just up and leave your ass like that. It's not you the only past person. Traumas, don't you? <laughs> My first boyfriend was very similar. His name was Clayton and he was pretty much like bald. Like he kind of looked like Caillou. Found out that he was moving and I was so heartbroken. But then a couple years later, it was like, a couple days after Christmas, or a couple mm -hmm. days before Christmas or something. And I was just like, you know, still heartbroken, not looking for love. It's only been two years, still mourning my loss. My mom was like, hey, you should put some clothes on, get out of your pajamas, you never know what's gonna happen. And I was like, the fuck are you talking about, mom? Santa's like, not coming yet. Love isn't real, Santa it probably isn't even real, and I don't care. I'm gonna stay in my Barney pajamas, okay? <laughs> so then I just put on like some like stupid, even worse, I wish I would've just stayed in the Barney pajamas. I put on like a Dora jumpsuit. Like I had my fat pants on, you know? Then all of a sudden I see people like come to our front door. Clayton walks right up. Did he have hair now? Did we grow some hair? Or no, like... still bald. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> but like it was even more devastating because Clayton had totally changed. And then he tried kissing me and I was like, whoa there buckaroo. You don't get to come moseying back in trying to kiss me. That was the last time I ever saw him. And then we lost contact because I think like numbers changed. No. Yeah. So moving on to middle school. It was uh, the day of the Valentine's Day dance. And I'd got this feeling about a week or so before that he was cheating on me. We were getting all dropped off and I was gonna go home. I was gonna put on my dress. I was gonna get ready for this dance. And I was like, yes, like this is perfect. I have a boyfriend, life is great. I even wrote in my diary. We were approaching Cody's house where Jacob and Cody were gonna get off. And he looked at me and he says, oh, by the way, I'm breaking up with you. I'm going into the dance with Aaron tonight. She was my best friend at the time. But yeah, so he basically told me, hey, by the way, I'm going to the dance with Aaron tonight, not you, um, sorry. Gave me a kiss and <laughs> got off the bus. <laughs> I just start bawling. Oh. He left me for my best friend, who he was in fact talking to. My intuition's always right, right? It was a rough night. You were so brave. I don't even know why I went to that stupid dance. She's Jacob getting Brendan. fired up right now. I remember at the beginning of the video, she was like, I don't wanna like go too deep. And now she's like, fuck this, drop the tea, bitch. Traumatizing, okay? okay. Wow, since we've talked about elementary school and middle school, let's get on to some of the, uh, the worst hookups. <sighs> We have. You want me to finish off my middle oh, school? Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Finish it off with a bang? Mail this is high school. Time. By this the way. is no. eighth, eighth grade day. summer going ooh, into high school. Ooh, she started early. It was our. It was my first like real relationship. We were dating for like a, a year and a half and homecoming was coming up. I was already talking to his mom about like what I wanted my mom to look like. Like assuming we were going together because we were dating for a year and a half before this point. Like we went, right. we went to homecoming last year. Why wouldn't we this year, right? And I don't even remember how he did it, honestly. I just, it was... I think I blacked it out. <laughs> I want to say it was like over text or something though. Went to the dance uh, like a week later with someone else, except this time I ended up chasing the bitch around the dance. Like I was about to fight her. I was chasing him. I was chasing her. <laughs> I was going. I was going part. in. 
Yeah, I'm embarrassed of it. That apparently was like hot to him in a way. Like he was like, "Oh, you're fighting for me. I like that." And so we ended up talking for another month or two, like just kind of like behind this girl's back, like you know, like I'm still here. Oh my like, god! So like never, not doing. We didn't do anything during mm-hmm. that time. I was just like, mm-hmm. yeah, like good night, winky face, like you know, <laughs> fun stuff. And at this point in time, I was in like five sports, so I I, I ran a lot. And so his house was about, I want to say, about three miles away from mine. But one day. I decided to put my hair up and go on a run. Guess where I ended up? His house. His parents weren't home. He told me to come over. We had never done anything other than like make out. So I ended up running to his house. He was sitting there. He's playing his guitar, looking all cute with his long curly hair. Like he was being all cute. And one thing led to another. I ended up sucking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only time I've done that in my life was here. You get, you've never heard like the full depth story. All you've known is that I sucked a dick once. Like, that's literally all you've known. After all was said and done and swallowed. um, (laughs) (laughs) Next thing I know, it's getting spread around our whole class. So, like, a hundred kids know at this point. Their their parents know. It's a very small town. So, my mom's getting calls from people's parents. All I did was get the rep of sucking some dude's dick. (laughs) Not even having him back. He just, he walked on. And I just want to say one thing. Baby, say it. You this fucking is, say it. This is why a few months ago at one of his shows, his mom and I got into it. Like I said, I spent months crying I think that was it. my favorite moment of our entire relationship. Right? That was my first true heartbreak. And I was, I was miserable. And like I said, I wanted him back. I wanted, I wanted him to come back to me, but he still didn't. Pay attention to me, not your cat. <laughs> So his mom was saying that I broke up with him and that he spent months crying and everything. And I was like, well, if he was crying and I was crying, why was he to I just want to say, mom, his mom, I'm sorry if I hurt your boy's heart, but he hurt mine too. But also your boy's a f- <laughs> Never touched a dude since. So what is the worst hookup you've ever had. I want some fucking tea. You gotta go first on this one. I gotta think a little bit. Um, Plus I just told like a 20 minute story about me sucking dick, so I think it's time I relax. <laughs> a bit heated. See, it's really hard to tell one because there's just <laughs> so many. <laughs> How did you lose your virginity? That's a that's a good question. I mean like mine's with a woman. Yeah. And it was just in my bed. Oh. Like, See, yours is My boring. mom was home. Like, it, oh. it's very boring. Mine was prom night. And I didn't even tell him that I was a virgin because, like, I didn't want to make it, like, special or anything. And I was just like, yep, we ball. <laughs> Sorry, the camera died, and we decided we are going to take another shot, so. So where were we? You lost your virginity. Oh, Woo! yeah. Um, Back in the car. Romantic. Truck. Truck. Oh, Get cool. it right. When I was in like middle school, I was like, oh my God, my first time is going to be so special. I'm like going to be candles and rose petals. We and, all like, thought that. It's just going to be so romantic. I'm not like, going to make myself ugh. think that this dude is special. Like I, I knew so many girls who were like, I love to be me. He broke my heart. No, I'm not losing shit. I'm giving it to you and you're <laughs> not gonna fucking know. It's like you got like a surprise hole punch in your in your little in your little coupon. I didn't see you. I didn't tell. <laughs> I did ecstasy in my prom. Oh, I got I... dumped and I was single and my ex was there with my other ex. I'm sorry, but whose story is this? Not yours. Thank you very much. Okay, back to me losing my virginity. Now you're just going in depth with your story. You spent 20 minutes telling me Honey. about a blowjob you had in eighth grade. And a broken heart. <laughs> no, and also so... it means a lot because I've never done it. it ever again. Ever. Me neither. <laughs> In the mix of it where you're like, you know what? Let's fucking do it. I like, don't did fucking... You, no, I genuinely don't fucking remember. But I also... Okay. Did you go like, into the night thinking you were going to get laid for the first time? I don't night? remember. Oh. I genuinely don't... I... Uh-huh. <laughs> I just remember, like, it happened. It's like a blur for a little bit. And then we're back in the passenger seat. And he was like, yeah, you taste really good. And I was just like, pineapples, bitch. And he was... <laughs> I could just picture you being all awkward like that. Like, I don't remember mine either. That was like, like that was the whole plan though. Like I was like, I'm not gonna remember this shit. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. He's not gonna make a big deal out of it. I'm not gonna know. <laughs> so what's the worst hookup you've ever had? I had met this girl through some friends. Not really my type. Didn't you guys like have a bet? This makes me look like I'm a douchebag. I'm really not. I'm not betting on somebody's vagina. Okay, I'm not. Because I, I said no. I said no, I'm not going to do it. And the other person said, yes, you are. And we had a pair of shoes on the line. <laughs> and I love how shoes. you justify it with like, okay, but like there was a pair of shoes, okay? So we go back to my place. We end up hooking up. But the next morning, we woke up, we were kind of hungover, right? It's like 11 or 12, and I was like, all right, so. 
Why are you still here? It, I, I've learned if I go to someone's place and I hook up, I'm out by like 10. I don't care how hungover I am. I'm driving home. Like, I, I don't stay there that long. She just wouldn't leave. No matter what I did, no matter what I said. She ended up just hopping back in my bed and like turning on Netflix. And I was like, bitch. Like, how do you, how do you politely, like, I want to hear y'all stories on this. How do y'all politely tell someone to get the fuck out your bed and get out of your house? Like, I want to know. You got a life too, right? I didn't work that day, but I ended up telling her I worked at four. So I was like, you know, like, I got to start getting ready about 2.30. So I'm going to need you to be out of here by like three. She finally, finally left. But like having to do everything you can to kick someone out the morning after when it's just a hookup. She just wouldn't allow that. I want to hear what you all have to say about this. Yeah. Um, I, what do you do in that situation? Yeah, no, let us know. Laid. How do you how do you kick a bitch out? No, I have a lot of, like, uh, shitty hookups that are, like, coming back. If any of you guys watched my um, reading my high school diary video. Evan is a fucking idiotic frat boy. <laughs> Fuck, what was his I name? Him Evan. I, I, yeah, I think I called him Evan. Wow, a true fan. I he followed me on Twitter just recently, and I'm praying to fucking God that he didn't watch the video. You wouldn't, wouldn't put two would. in. My name's not Evan. No. <laughs> My name's not Evan. Yeah. And then daddy it, like, it sad. ended. It wasn't daddy. It was sad. Hi, honey. Mm, look at okay. you. Open your fucking eyes. Drunky. Kati needs to get more drunk and go to bed. No. This was an interesting video. LGBT. I kind of want to title it Exposing Our Exes just so we can scare everybody. I was going to do a video where I tried five minute crafts and that's still coming, but that's just a lot of fucking work. I just want to film a video with my gorgeous girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to remember our handshake from our first video. We got this. We're going to compare this to the other one and it's not going to be the same at all. Like, yeah. that's so not right. We honestly haven't done it since that video. We're like, hee hee, what's our handshake? <laughs> that's our handshake. <laughs> We're gonna take another shot, then we'll do the outro. Ready, set, go! Am I st stuttering? Who cares? You're right. Follow, subscribe, <laughs> get drunk. Who Fuck cares? You guys? If you would like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you would like to follow my other adventures, my social media links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, hug your girlfriend, take a shot, talk about sex, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side. You're not gonna point? I'm not gonna point, no. Oh, your side, their side. Yeah, no, oh. to them, yeah, is yeah. on your side, not like your side. It's not on my side. Your so. side, <laughs> obviously, because if it was, you wouldn't have gotten left after you gave a guy a blowjob. Bye. <laughs>